to the Benton County Courthouse itself. So Morgan, uh, tell us what, what's going on there. Well, Darren, I'm actually here kind of on top of the courthouse right now. Officials here tell me that they think what happened is they took a straight line wind, hit them very hard, and this is actually the roof of the courthouse peeled off here. You can see the gutter right here on this side, and then if you look down here on the other side, that's the gutter from the other end of the roof. So extensive damage to the roof here. That's causing some water damage inside the courthouse and some of the courtrooms. But the facilities manager tells me that there's no other facilities in Benton County that sustained this kind of damage. Of course, this is very major damage to the courthouse. The mainly other damage that we've seen around the Bentonville Square is trees down. Um, but again, this is the main damage that we're really seeing here. So is the the building's not going to be open or will it be open or do they know just yet? Do we know if the building will be open just yet? We don't know yet, but we are going to the presser at seven this morning. So we might learn more details then. But right now they did let us up here to see this damage and this is what we're looking at. Wow. OK, Morgan, thanks. Um, and what we're <laughs> what we're looking mm. at here is either it is either straight line or uh, tornado. I, it's, you know, it, with, it, we, we were just mentioning, was there any damage in Bentonville? Well, now we're seeing it. Uh, and, and hearing some, some unconfirmed reports elsewhere there in downtown Bentonville as well. Uh, just trying to remember what radar looked like at the time the storm was passing through Bentonville. There was some strong rotation, but there very well could have been simultaneous straight line winds on, on the, that side of the storm as well. As we've said, what difference does it make? Right, there's right? damage. Like, damage and is damage. Right. And, and yeah. people